Morning folks, um, here we go, it's another wildlife watch today, um, it's Tuesday the 23rd of August, um, I've got Tesco's due in any, minute, in any minute, so I've got a nanny on through. Um, starting off today, um, we've got some of Beth's photos of uh, red kites from Yorkshire um, last weekend at her mum's house. Um, and they're just stunning birds. I mean, they look as though they should be really, really vicious. But they eat carrion. And they're bullied by pigeons and crows in Leeds. Um, they're becoming much, much more common in the UK. Um, Geddington, where my brother lives in Northamptonshire, there's hundreds of the damn things. You can't move for red kites. They're everywhere. Um, there we go. Oh, there's a dragonfly. Apparently, it's been a good year for dragonflies. Um... That's a green one. I don't know much about dragonflies. Anybody out there want to enlighten me as to what it is? Oh, another kite. And there's the dragonfly with its wings down. And, yeah, that's the final one. One third, that's on the Catoni Aster. Every garden should have a Catoni Aster. The berries are great for the birds in the autumn and the flowers are brilliant for the bees in spring and summer. Um, right, so... Um, onto the wildlife cam, which was out in the garden. You can see the garden furniture there, the tyre um, planter, and that's the hedgehog house, um, which still hasn't had a hedgehog in it other than for about 30 seconds, as far as we know. Um, right, let's see what we've got. Um, uh, it's an evil demonic spectre in the neighbour's garden. Look, I don't know what that is. Best not ask, I suppose. Um, well, hey, there's that. There's the cat. That's the cat we see most of at the moment. Um, the ocelot. I, do, I, I didn't know the proper name for that sort of marking, but I'm probably winged tabby or something unoriginal like that. Um, uh, <laughs> it's still there. What's that? It's probably a moose. And the yeah, the cat is climbing the hedgehog house. Skills, cat. Go on, up we go. That's it. I've embarrassed it out of it. No, I haven't. It's going up. I mean, I don't know why. But there we go. Um, I noticed yesterday that the roof was off the hedgehog house. And I'm starting to wonder if I might have found the culprit. <laughs> Look at the blooming great horrible thing. There we go. I wonder if we're going to get any wildlife tonight. I mean, then there it goes. Do I publish the video if I get no wildlife? Just to show that some nights wildlife cameras are not as rewarding. Oh, I mean, that really is quite sinister, that, isn't it? Oh. Oh, I shouldn't have done that yet, but there's the ocelot again. Let's go back. We were about halfway through, weren't we? I was ooing at the specs, so there we go. Nothing else to miss. So I could have done that and got away with it. I think that's a different cat. A stripier cat altogether and quite a bit more tatty. Um, what's the time? It's ten past ten. And it's still 17 degrees. Um, half past ten, still holding at 17 degrees. Um, half past ten. Oh dear. Oh, there we go. We've got a little... Is that one of the little cubs? Yeah, that's one of the little cubby foxes. It's gone on to the, um, sniffing the hedgehog house where the cat's just been. So it looks like the cat might have left us a present on top of the hedgehog house. Fox is gone, anyway. Near the car in the distance, or a car in the distance. Sometimes you're near the M53. That's a treat. There you go. And there's another cat. Oh, hedgehog. There he goes. Snuffling across. Um, is he going out into the house? No, he's not. Is he? Heck, he's coming out the corner. See you later, hedgehog. I bet. We up to quarter past eleven. Um, so it's still quite early, yeah. 
oh, it's got misty. Quarter past one, it's down to 16 degrees. There was a, there was a fox there, look. Um, I say misty, it's probably condensation on the lens. Oh, there's the hedgehog again. <laughs> so perhaps not the best camera angle last night then. So hard to set these things. But we have fun, don't we? It's all about the fun. Half past four, not much happening. And there's a fox at five to five. We don't usually get foxes that late, to be fair. Um, they're usually sort of done by about two o'clock. Um, there we go. And, oh, <laughs> that's 20 to nine and they're definitely my legs picking up the camera. <laughs> oh yeah, that's me, that's definitely me. Easy thing. There we go. That's all for today. Thank you very much, folks. Um, maybe back tomorrow. Um, but only if I put the camera out, I suppose. Thanks for watching. Bye.